Okay, so we have here 12 volts DC. The red goes to this thing into the unit, the black into the unit, and I have minus going here to the LEDs. These are the equivalent of the turn signals. Only one brown wire is connected. Okay, these in the middle, the white, yellow and orange are not connected. The pink, blue and green are not connected either. Those are for the trunk, for the alarm and for the windows, electric windows. Okay, and here's the remote. Let's close the door. When the door is closed, the blue LED flashes and the turn signals flash once. So it's flashing one. Okay, let's open it. This will disable the LED and it will flash it twice. Two blinks and no blue LED. That means that the doors are uh, opened and if you use the third one which is not connected that's for the trunk that's the blue and the blue wire that flashes three times and no LED okay so now it's opened two flashes no LED now it's closed one flash and blue LED. Okay, let's make some tests. So now the doors are locked. The blue LED is flashing. Let's see what will happen if I disconnect the power. The power is disconnected. Let's reconnect it. And it's not flashing. Okay, now let's close it. It's closed. Okay. Let's measure the power draw, let's put it to amps, put that lead there for the amps measurement, positive is disconnected, zero, zero, 001 amp, ok now it's secured with a cable, zero, zero, 001 amp, that is 10 milliamps constant power draw from the battery almost 10 okay let's do some click sounds 500 milliamps 20 milliamps 10 20 okay so it's consuming with the leds it's consuming half an amp 500 milliamps when it's on unlocked and the blue LED is not flashing, then it's consuming around 10 milliamps. And when I lock it with the blue LED flashing, it's consuming around 20 milliamps. Okay, now it's unlocked and there is from time to time 10 milliamp power consumption. Now it's logged. And now it should have 20 milliamps from time to time. Okay, 20. Okay, there it was. And let's see if I disconnect the LED. Then we have the 10 milliamps, zero. Let's see, will it go up to 20? I guess not. So that tiny difference is due to the LED. So if you want to consume less from your battery, let's say if you don't use your, the car too often then you might want to disconnect even the LED
Okay, now let's check for conductivity. The multimeter is set to measure conductivity it's here at the diode. Okay, one lead of the multimeter is connected to the first white, first white from top, and the other lead of the multimeter is connected to the first yellow from the top. So we have two units, orange, white, yellow on top and orange, white, yellow on the bottom below. And those are here, orange, white, yellow on the top, top three, and orange, white, yellow, the bottom three. The top three are for closing signal, closing signal, and the bottom three are for opening signal opening signal okay and here we can see that the first two orange and white are normally closed as you can see they are closed and the second two white and yellow white is common and the yellow is normally opened as you can see is not touching the white and these two white and yellow when I close using this button then we, they will conduct so white and yellow will conduct this will be closed so I'm pressing this one and watch the multimeter it should display some numbers and when it displays here on the right side then there is conductivity Okay, so when I'm closing it, then there is conductivity between the upper white and yellow. And between the orange and white, when I'm pressing the button, there will be no conductivity. And after that, it will conduct again. So the first two are normally closed and the second two are normally opened. There is no current coming out of those wires.